My name is Marine. I am president of Lucine. What is Lucine? Lucine is the first digital therapeutics against chronic pain. Uh, Lucine composed by two technological elements. The first one is a uh, Lucine Care. Lucine Care uses uh, no invasive and external stimulation to reduce pain with your smartphone. And the second one is Lucine Care. Lucine Care is the first subjective pain scale. With just one picture of you, uh, it's possible for Lucine app to describe and indicate your, um, your painful experience. We use your smartphone camera, we use um, um, facial, voice, and postural recognition, and a touch of deep learning. Uh, so, to build this solution, to build a uh, listen care and listen scale, uh, we work with uh, several hospitals in France and Canada, and several universities in Europe, Canada, and US. For example, um, we work with um, Laval University in Canada. Um, we focus on research um, to use postural recognition uh, to measure the level of stress and level of pain on a student population uh, in real time with uh, camera security in public space, for example. Uh, we work too with um, Bordeaux University. We work on mouse uh, to test uh, stimulation, to test uh, lucine care on brain. So today, um, lucine had realized three pilot tests um, and the main result for a lucine scale is the confirmation of algorithm and a confirmation of methodology to create a clean and important uh, large uh, data, data set. That is the first, and the main result for Lucine Care uh, is the confirmation of reduction of feeling of pain of patient uh, of 50% uh, du during uh, two hours. Um, the next step now, uh, it's the, the first one is a realization of three uh, clinical trial um, in a real condition on human and a creation of scientific consortia uh, to make more research uh, about uh, digital therapeutics, pain and stress. Dystonia is a neurological movement disorder causing uh, uncontrolled muscles contractions. Many uh, patients with dystonia uh, need a treatment every three months uh, with uh, botulinum toxin injections. Since it can be very hard to remember how it felt between treatment appointments, uh, we developed uh, my dystonia a digital diary for patients with dystonia to capture symptoms, uh, what treatment you have, uh, activities, pain, sleep and more. A report from the diary can be shared with physicians. We developed My Dystonia to improve communication patient physician uh, to improve treatment outcome. The app is available in 10 languages and has about 2,400 registered users. For each language, uh, there is a Mind Estonia ambassador who can give the support in the local language. This project has also improved relationship between our members organizations because we have a common project to work on. When we developed the app, we were working with uh, Dystonia patients organizations in the UK, Germany and France. Uh, we did the uh, survey uh, on what questions to include, uh, functions, design, the whole project uh, was supported with unrestricted grant by MERS. We are now working on the next version, My Dystonia 2.0, uh, 
which we plan to launch uh, beginning of the next year and uh, that will be part of the MindBrainNet platform. We hope uh, that the new version of uh, MyDystonia will continue support uh, patients with dystonia and their treating physicians and help to improve quality of life for people with dystonia. My name is Paolo Lontaro, I am the Chief of Pain Management Center of Funiguado Hospital in Milan and the coordinator of all the pain therapy center for the city, covering a population of about 3 million people. During the last year we have worked together in order to create a network which helps the relationship between doctors and the patients. The Red Up represents a new way to empower patients with chronic and acute pain to connect healthcare professionals and organizations. In order to increase the level of integration among the centers within the network Niguarda, together with the other Spain Care Center of Red and a team of students of Polytechnic of Milan, designed a mobile application with two main objectives. First, to facilitate communication between patients, primary physicians and pain care centers. Second, sharing information and documents for physicians and patients on clinical pathway, protocols and treatments. The Red App is proving a simple and easy application for patients, while physicians can access to a private area where they can contact the pain care centers, simplifying the reservation for this patient for a pain therapy specialist visit. The partners involved in this project are represented by a civic organization called No Pain Onlus and several healthcare organizations of regional Lombardia, including the Hub Pain Center Niguarda Hospital and other centers like ATS Città Metropolitana di Milano, Fate Bene Fratelli Sacco Hospital, Santi Paolo e Carlo Hospital, Pini CTO Institute, Istituto Nazionale dei Tumori of Milan, Policlinico of Milan, Istituto Europeo di Oncologia of Milan and Istituto Clinico Città Studi. In order to increase the adapts diffusion, the Pain Care Center of Reds Network are considering the cooperation of pharmacy within a communication campaign in Milan. Rise Up targets unspecific low back pain and aims at maximally prevent the development of chronic pain. Rise Up contains three aspects. First, patients are treated by their general physician according to national guidelines, which foster patients' empowerment. Second, patients get access to the Kaya app. The Kaya app is a back pain app containing psychological exercise, physiological exercise and educational units. And this means the three pillars of the multimodal pain therapy. The Kaya app delivers multimodal pain therapy on your smartphone at any place and at any time in the world. Third, telemedical connections enables different specialities to work together on the rise up patient. For example, the general physician can get a tele consultation with a pain specialist, especially to discuss patients at risk of developing chronic pain. The first results are very, very promising. Rise up patients show a stronger decrease in pain compared to a control group treated in the medical reality. We just told the control doctors, treat your patients as you always do. And the rise up patients are superior regarding pain intensity. 
Also psychological symptoms and um, problems with well-being decrease more in the rise up group compared to the control group and the rise up group gains more functionality um, by the rise up concept. Such a big project would not be possible without many partners, health insurances, computer scientists and the self-help group Schmerzlos and different pain clinics work together under the umbrella um, which is the center of interdisciplinary pain medicine of the Klinikum Rechts der ISA MRI of the Technical University of Munich. Especially the Kaya software GmbH, um, which developed um, the Kaya app, is a very, very tight um, collaboration partner. Our aims for Rise Up are very simple. We want to take treatment of low back pain to a different level, to a higher level in Germany first, and then, so we hope, across the whole world.